Hello strangers and welcome back to our hard mode series of SnowRunner. Apologies for it being away. Uh, if you are watching this after the fact and want to know why it's strangers and why I've been away, um, I was ha still having a little bit of a sulk from that horrific roll of the P16 and decide what we were going to do with that. Also, I've been struggling with some back issues, so I haven't actually been at my PC much for the last sort of week, week, 10 days. But hopefully we can get back recording and making some movement here. So, we are in the fleet style at the minute. And I've had a little chat with um, Rusty Baz in the Discord. And he was saying that he uses the... Uh, the GMC with a heavy crane on and uses that as a recovery vehicle. So, we are going to try a little bit of that. Now, I think I'm going to have to. Oh, I haven't got much fuel to put in there either. Right, yeah. See, this is becoming an issue now. Fuel. Um, let's change trucks. Hopefully, there's some fuel in the twin stem. We can pinch a little bit of that. Oh, there's not much, is there? All right, as long as we can... Uh, well, we can pull the twin stair back into the... <laughs> into the garage when it comes time to pack it away. So yeah, I'm going to be out of practice, which isn't good because we've got to go do some difficult stuff. So let's try and get the crane on here. So customization, what we like for? We're going to have to, we're going to, have to put some tires on. It's still got its basic tires, so we're going to have to put some decent ones on. If not, it's not going to get anywhere. Uh, we will go with. UOD2s or do we go I think we go OMD3s there we go right then on the back we want we want that that's pretty much it that's what we want how well this is going to go I do not know It's going to cost us seven and a half grand, but it's 12, was it eight grand to recover? Uh, there. We'll go with it. I can't keep recovering vehicles. Plus, now this is ready for when we have to do stuff. I didn't look at engine or anything like that, so I don't know what we're like power wise. But I'm hoping this is going to help us to write the P16. If it doesn't, then, well, <laughs> we are so screwed. Now, I, I might be wrong. I think, I think uh, Rusty Baz might have said he uses the um, Kodiak for, for this. I think he uses his GMC for the fuel trailer and repairs and stuff so I might just be the other way around from him but I, I'm not going to bring the Kodiak through but this gives us a chance to see you know the GMC in action hopefully with some tyres on it's not going to be as feeble as it is at times I'm going to have to be careful with it And if you have come back and continue to pick up with the series after its multiple silent <laughs> periods, uh, I do appreciate you. Thank you very much. And uh, just as we start recording, I'm going to lose my voice. So yeah, we need to get this upright and then get back in the groove of our deliveries. Because I think up until then, I mean, it was a struggle getting out of the quarry. 
But up until then, deliveries were going all right. And we've got some more long logs to go, and we've got a ton, an absolute ton of medium logs. But who would have thought DMC as a crane was uh, going to be on our list of things we're going to be doing already? And the only time I've really used one of these heavy cranes was on the live stream series and that was a modded version and that didn't go well i'm hoping this isn't that modded version that i brought i don't think it is i didn't pay enough attention i'm sure i removed it we'll know if it is because the legs will extend beyond the crane base and yeah it'll look funny and then I'm screwed, because then I'll have to sell it, only recoup half my money, and then buy it again. There it is. What an absolute mess. What an absolute mess. We've got a trailer as well. I'm not even sure how we'll do this. Not sure how. Or even if we can. <laughs> so, put the anchor out. Nope, that seems like this is the right one. Okay. I may be too far out. Yeah. It's just going to tip me over. Right, I'm going to need to get a little bit closer, I think. That's all we really want to do. Once we get over, over our exhaust pipe, is um, sort of push it a bit, really. Can we push it? It's just moving us. It is that heavy? Wow. Do we do, eh? Hey? Oh, so I'm just going to tip myself. Go and set me up, Abby Baz. Set me up for another roll. Don't think this is going to work. Do not see how this is going to work. Just too heavy. Is 
It just pulls me. It just pulls me. Well, that puts this at a loss then, doesn't it? That is so, so, so disappointing. Anyone else have any any tips on how to how to write the P16? Let me know because this isn't going to be the last time I roll it. This is not going to be the last time. It's just so disappointing. Like it's our biggest, our powerfulest truck, and our heaviest truck, and I think I've rolled it the most. So let's take this back to the garage. And we'll put what fuel we've got in here in our fleet star. Because we're going to be using our fleet star more. Uh, because that's probably going to be a load and crane for when we do medium logs. I'm not sure. We might even do medium logs automatically. Although that might be out the window now that we've got to pay to recover the P16 again. This is why I had to had to sulk for a week because it's just just beyond that we can't that we can't pick it back up like the the size of truck that we would need now to be able to pick that and, and just roll it just even pull it i think because of the the way that it's rolled if it was facing the other direction uh, I'd, I'd maybe be able to just pull it onto its wheels but because i need to roll it onto the hill sort of in a sense pushing it I'm not going to take this up on the hill Oh, got that blooming trailer as well. See, I, I get all in a fluster and I forget stuff. I, I could have brought the trailer back. Could have towed that back with me. Because i got to go get that. Although I think it, I think it was a free one. We might, buy, we might just buy another. Once I've um, recovered the P60, we'll have a look. And if I can grab that for free, then we'll just leave that one there and hope it's not in our way in the future. It probably will be, but we'll deal with that problem when that when we face it. So, oh no, I don't want to do that either. Never mind. Right. Honestly, I get I get so in a fluster because I get so annoyed at myself, and then I mess up, and then I get even more annoyed at, my, at myself. Right. Can we jump to another truck from here? We can't. So what we want is the... Um, let's get the Fleet Star. 
That's going to take all the fuel out of there, which probably isn't wise. I wish we could just take a little bit. Well, we can take a little bit. I have to tap it, don't I? <laughs> um, yeah, that's fine. Done it again. I don't know what game I think I'm playing, because I am pressing the wrong button every bloody time. I think I'm playing Farm Sim. I'm thinking I'm doing Farm Sim console controls because I'm pressing the shoulder button and the X button to turn my engine off and it's not that well it is, it's just the wrong shoulder button right, so there and then if I get my twin steer Which has pretty much no fuel in. But I don't think I'm going to need it for a while. When I was doing my streamed Alaska, we didn't pull this out for Alaska, I don't think. But I don't mean we won't this time. We had different modded trucks and things, so we may need it. So we will refuel. We'll take it out of there. And we will pop that in here. Now we're not going to need it here at all. So we are going to retain it. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so then I want to jump to my P16. The horror that is. That is just so sad. So sad. The cover. It's going to cost us eight grand. We spent seven and a half grand on a crane that didn't work. There we are. So. Let's head out. How much fuel do we have? Not a lot. I'm going to have to go and fill the tank up at the gas station because I'm not going to take fuel out of the key, out of the um, fleet stuff. So there was. So that one we pay for. That's expensive. Um, there's that log carrier. But I'm pretty sure there is one that had the dirt tyres, which is what we left on the track. That's the one. It's not. Oh, it's 146. So that's that's absolutely fine. Oh, we haven't got the add-on for that. Can't be right. Can you tell me we paid for whack for our. There we go, off road. There it is. That's the one. Some will say it's naughty and cheating, but I have wasted so much money. So much money. Now I've done this, let's just check. I have still got um, long logs to deliver. We have. So we've got uh, long logs to the drilling site, which we've got to come through. And then we've got aid to the island, which is all medium. Uh, timber at arm's reach, which is long logs to the drilling site here as well. Long logs to this drilling site, so quarry, drilling site. And that's island lake. 
Norton's. Okay. So yeah, still got quite a bit on the um, long logs. I'll figure it out. Don't worry. I am. <laughs> I'm all a loss. <laughs> but we need to get some fuel because. So we're pretty much out of fuel in our fuel tank and the rest of our fuel is the other side of this map we're just hoping we get some good money when we finish doing these log deliveries to make up for all this waste all this waste we are not going to be arriving in Alaska with the money we were hoping for. I think if you do everything well, 200, 250 grand is easily doable. Maybe more, maybe 300 grand when arriving in Alaska. We're going to be lucky to probably have 150. <laughs> And I, like I said before, we need 80 grand to buy the um, load star that I want. So it's, it's, it's going to cost us so much money. It's just crazy. Well, I just have not managed my fuel. Like I say, annoyingly, there's quite a bit of fuel. It's not in reach and didn't bring it far enough through. I thought we were going to manage these bits easier and not be so wasteful on fuel and be able to keep refueling as we went across the map, but that didn't work out for us. Right, let's not mess about. Straight on with it. I thought there's gonna be a, gonna be enough messing about when we uh, to load up the logs and try and get back through. I can't remember. Did we have a flat tire as well, or did we fix that? Oh, we fixed that. No, yeah, that's all right. And we haven't repunctured one yet. Probably use some of those repair parts as well from our repair trailer to help fix whatever damage we did in our roll. And as part of my therapy to get over the roll, I, I went back to watching some of uh, Wessel on Wheels uh, hard mode series. Uh, I talk about them a lot, man. The man is a master logistics tactician uh, for this game and um, yeah I found a few episodes where it just so happened to be that where I'm at to in watching his series that the uh, that episode had a couple of roles in it and you know he just sort of dusts it off and, and gets on with it it is part of the game it's all part of the game but I just I just find myself so frustrated because it only comes for me no most of the time anyway when I'm not paying attention and when I'm when I'm already frustrated. Like I was frustrated with getting this trailer up the hill and, and doing things with it. And that was then what caused me in the dark, not being able to see anything, not paying attention, to go up that embankment and roll the V16. That was uh, that was the downfall. 
So it went from one thing to another to a massive thing. Rather than being calm and, you know, just looking around, taking the time. And although it's taken me a while to get these out, with actual progression per, for the episodes we've done, isn't that bad. So it's not like I need to feel like I'm, I need to rush. I'm already four years behind anyone else that made content for the game. <laughs> it's not like I'm catching up. And, you know, we've, we've done all this. We've done this um, with my original playthrough about three years ago, where we, which was in normal mode. But that was played on console and PC. It was a mixture of console and PC. I had a lot of issues with it. Uh, so, yeah, that sort of stopped. And then we did, we've done all this quite you know, moderately recently. Um, sort of late last year, over on Twitch when we were streaming it there. And we did that on normal mode, but with lots of mods and things. So, this is the first proper hard mode playthrough that I've done. I tried hard mode when it, when it was a thing. Um, you know, about four years ago, three or four years ago. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I sucked so bad that I stopped. And it was through watching uh, Wessel do his that I was like, you know what, I'm going to give that a try again because I do love this game. And I love the challenge that it brings. I just wish we could get an all-wheel drive on this. <laughs> Or a diff lock. It's got a um, diff lock on, but it doesn't feel like it's quite the same without the all wheel drive. And obviously, we don't have all wheel drive. So now we've got to try and do some log loading <laughs> as it starts to get dark. And then deliver these in the dark. amazing turn, turn and circle of the P16 comes into full effect <laughs> dear oh dear that's what I need to do is uh, turn the engine off as we uh, come down hills it's safe fuel just sticking it in neutral doesn't work that way. Turn the engine off, just roll down. See what that does for us. Oh, not that truck, thank you very much. That truck. That's what I mean by I rush things. Way too much. Rushed them. We have got anchors out right yet. Yeah, they're still out. So I better check. So it's sort of in the middle. Try and bring it around nice and smooth. It 
may have parked a little bit too far away. Ah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. What am I worried about? Crane controls, I think I've said it every time we've done this. Crane controls are so much easier on this than on farm sim. It's insane. We are so buried. When it comes to getting out of here, I don't know what I'm going to do. Right. And, uh, so we need to be actually in the Chevy this time so that we can repair it's not got many parts left either has it although the Kodiak has a few I think so it's not too bad uh, we'll repair the White Western while we're at it as well right let's see what the fuel is like it's not good is it <laughs> it's not good at all There we go. Right, so we'll put a little bit more in. It's pretty much all the fuel. Damn. Right. Pack our cargo. Make sure it's in there properly. Sometimes it does get a little bit funky. And we are off to the drilling site. Wow, we are not not turning today. Whoa, this is not going to bode well. Why are we having so much trouble turning? Come on. If we roll again, we roll again. I really don't want to roll with logs on, though. I don't want to lose the logs. Because they're not going to come pick them up. They'll have to stay there. We'll come back and get more. Haven't got the fuel line around to move two trucks about. I think in the past as well, I always did medium logs first. Not that it really makes much difference, I don't think. My initial thinking at the time, I believe, was that I'd get them done a lot quicker than I am, with more deliveries and more episodes, and we'd have less churning up of the roads and stuff like that. But that's, that's proven to be a theory that we throw away straight away. That is a throwaway theory. Can't even revert. What? What is going on? My turning circle seems to be double what it normally is, and I'm having trouble not finding reverse, but getting it to reverse. I, I am, I am fearful for what's going to happen this episode. I am extremely fearful.
Go on P16. Don't let me down. And I'm not sure it was best to winch and use up extra fuel or just keep powering through and hope that we use up less fuel? I don't know. What is more fuel efficient? Because I've, I've read things and seen people say that like, sometimes you're better off because fuel actually works out over time rather than mileage and distance. So using a lot of fuel or what seems to and appears to be a lot of fuel over a short period of time is sometimes better than by slowly plodding through and trying trying to conceive that you are saving fuel because it doesn't necessarily work like that because the longer you're there the more fuel you're actually using whether that makes sense I don't know when, when I read it I wasn't sure if it made sense now, this was I read this a while back um, but yeah sometimes it's better off to go ham for a short period of time than it is to take it easy over a longer period of time because fuel consumption is worked out over time rather than distance Probably should take it a little bit easier over the stony bit. We do have a, a track record of bursting tyres over small stones. Alright, we've reached the gateway safely. We'll skip that as well. Save time. We're already over halfway through and... Yeah, we've not done anything. Other than waste money. <laughs> Which we do a lot of anyway, that's nothing new.
and I will double check once we get up to the top of this hill, but I'm pretty sure this is going to the drill site that is the one that we erected. Just double check it is down here so what we're going to do is make our way through hopefully the farm <laughs> uh through the farm we will then come around we will go through our logging station here then we'll have to go up and around drilling site that's that's going to have to be our route and then it's a mass consumption of fuel to go all the way back again. But we do have, at least we have a fuel container here. How much that will help us, I don't know. Yeah, because it's not, if I bring that up again, you'll see it's not liters per mile is liters per minute so sometimes burning a lot in a little space of time actually affords you more fuel than sort of slowing down i'm sure that's how someone worked out i think it was in a in a comment on one of um is it Nathan, Nathan Pierce? Nathan Price? I forget his surname. How terrible. Um, he does, does um, a, a phenomenal amount of um, snow on the content as well. There's a lot of um, tier lists, so if you're interested in that sort of thing. Another chat that I, I watch um, snow on the content on, I'm terrible for promoting other people. Don't think anyone ever promotes me. Um, but Cyrus, now I always thought Cyrus had a much bigger following than he has because his videos get a ton, a ton of views. Especially since he went to add in um, his voice to them. But yeah, Cyrus has some good videos, um, helpful guides, or just sort of thoughts on, on the game and how certain things work. I'm hoping this isn't too wet here and we can just sort of push over it. I don't think I would have ever gotten the P16 um, through the deep muddy parts. That's why we came that way. And I'm hoping the cornfield isn't too deep. It seems alright. really want to stop and lose momentum but oh did it did what you always do did it the wrong way how did it do that when we're in the p16 like why would it empty us <laughs> made no sense hopefully soon as well i'll i'll see things and read things better uh, <laughs> i have put it in my discord um, this Monday so it should be uh, the Monday after or the Monday before this episode come, gets released I'm recording this on the Saturday so in two days time uh, I'm off to go and get some new glasses I haven't worn glasses in six years I've needed glasses for the past 12 years um, but I kept breaking them I wore them for about two years uh, I kept breaking them it got expensive um, then, uh, for whatever, I can't remember what it was, but I, I needed them again. I think it was for, for a job. I had a lot of reading to do. And uh, so I got, 
went out and got some got some more glasses again. And I think within about six months, I broke three pairs and stopped. <laughs> so, yeah, but it's, it's getting really bad now. I like to struggle to see a lot of things. So hopefully, if I can be patient and take the time, because I don't bother. Uh, this is something I said when I went to the opticians when they asked me about it. I was like, I, I just don't bother, I guess, a lot of things when it comes to reading. Or, yeah, I guess it, or I don't bother. Um, so yeah, I, I need to get in the habit of slowing down and actually taking the time to read stuff again. <laughs> to read stuff again. Uh, but they've gotten that bad that I now need distance and reading glasses. So I had to get two pairs off the bat. So, let's see how long they last. going automatic. Generally the P16 is pretty good at just pushing through so hopefully hopefully she's not going to let us down on this bit. we need is a gearbox so we can have I've, and I've said this many times need to get to the point where we have a gearbox so we can go for um, low plus because then you're locked into a, a better low gear because the low gear that we lock into in low gear just isn't quite enough to get us moving sometimes so this is where we'll get some future medium logs from unfortunately you can't get long logs from here Now something that I am wondering is, with the, the last two lots of long logs go to Island Lake, rather than going back to uh, Black River, I'm pretty certain that you can get long logs from Drummond Island. I'm not sure if that would be easier to go there auto load the long logs and deliver them that way there's fuel that way as well I'm pretty certain there is it's just I don't know the, the P16 should be fine going through through Drummond it came out of Drummond anyway so we should be able to get back in. It's just that the exit entrance from Drummond into Island Lake is quite nasty. But going from Blackwater to Island Lake. Blackwater? Black River. I always get them confused. One of them's... One of them's in Red Dead Redemption 2, one of them is Snow Runner. But yeah, to go from the first map where we've been picking these up to Island Lake means we have to go through the little river, come through the dam, and get through the swamp. We have to do all that on one tank of fuel.
See, sometimes I wish I didn't have thoughts of doing things quicker. <laughs> Perhaps I should just, you know, go with what you know. Or maybe I should finish finish the medium logs in uh, Black River and then move everything out onto the dam including my fuel and repair trailer then go and maybe collect up a little bit more fuel use, a, use the Fleet Star or the White Western to get some fuel from the other trailers or bring them somewhere else where it works better for me. I don't know, because nowhere works good for me because we've got two different exits we need to use. I think in the past that's why I did the medium logs first because that probably logistically made more sense. But I was just trying to do something different for myself by doing long logs first here. Whereas what I should have done is just stuck with doing clear this map, clear this map, clear this map, and move along. And again, I will try and put a little bit more thought and planning into future, future maps, especially when it comes to logs. And I'm sure it's only one load to drop off here. There we go. So we got nearly 10 grand for that. So that that's covered the recovery and a little bit of the of the crane purchase. 132 grand. Right. Let's just turn it off. Yeah, so I mean I, I could risk getting across here and then I'd have to try and yeah, up here and we'd go straight into Drummond Island and do those jobs there. Or drive back through. That's a right pain in the backside to get through there. And we have rolled there before, but that was me messing about. We should be able to get through there fine. I am so scared now. I have become so anxious with doing this. We can't get through there, we don't fit. So yeah, if we go back. Let's have a look. Do, do, do I just go back to Black River and finish those off? Because aid the island. Medium, medium, medium. To Drummond, so I'm not worried about that. And then Timber at Arms Reach. It's two lots of long logs going into the sawmill and one lot going to Norton's house. Yeah, so I'm just so torn because it's, it's getting through here. Getting through here is going to be so slow. I'm certainly not going to go any other direction because we flipped here. <laughs> We've got fuel here, though. What do we do if we go and have a little look at... Um, Drummond. 
So if we... I don't think it tells you anymore, does it? Long logs, yeah, we can. We can pick up long logs here. And take them through. So if I... Set that as track, and we can pick them up there. And they then go... So we come through... We'd have a straight, straight run to the sawmill. And then the last challenge would be going around and getting them to there, I think. Is that right? Long logs at Norton's house. Where's Norton's house? That's the lumber mill. Hmm. Not showing Norton's house unless I'm once again unless I'm being blind. So Yeah. Proper torn. What's this one? Bill's house. Oh, it's medium logs to Bill's house, so I'm not worried about that. Forest. Oh, Norton's house is up here. So I guess we'll go back and we'll get logs for that then. We're going to do Bill's house. Or Norton's house, sorry. Which is here. That's not in Ireland. Okay. Oh, what's the time? I tell you what, actually, let's turn that off. We'll give ourselves an extra hour of daylight next time. We'll call that it. I've sort of planned out what I'm going to do. Let's hope I remember when I come around to record on it. If not, we'll spend another four or five minutes at the start of the next episode doing that again, for which I do apologise for future me being forgetful. Uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Um, sort of back to getting things done i'm still devastated that we couldn't turn the p16 back over don't know why i i, I feel like nothing is heavy enough to flip the p16 unless you've got maybe another p16 or a massive monster truck type thing but anyway hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification on find out when new videos are going live as always comments and feedback down there you guys have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll get the next one out to you as soon as possible. Back willing. You have a great day. Bye-bye.